everyone welcome to learning impact in today lecture we will discuss reference groups introduction definition meaning examples types and also we will discuss importance of reference group in sociology so let's start okay first is the introduction of reference group the term reference group was for the first time it was coined by the herbert hyman in his work the archives of psychology which got published in 1942 and in this work, he was referring to the reference group by saying that it is a group against which individual they evaluate his or her condition. Means that it is actually a group which individual use for comparison of their own capabilities. They analyze their own qualities by relating themselves to, the, to a particular group which is called the reference group. And he was actually the American sociologist who also did a contribution uh, in reference group by you know, writing, publishing another book, which was the reference group and the social control, which was giving detail that how the reference group, they actually shape the social norms, values and conformity in the society, that how it brings social control in the society. And also he distinguished between the membership group and the reference group. Now, membership group and reference group both are different from each other. Membership group. Uh, is, is, uh, can be considered as a type of the reference group. Membership group is a group to which individual they actually belong, but reference group is a group to which individual they relate themselves. They are outside to that group, so they relate themselves to become, uh, to become uh, like that. So in case of that membership group, it might be, for example, as I'm a sociology professor, it is my membership group that I'm, I'm, I belong to a social group of the sociology professor. But the same membership group can also become a reference group for me. If, if my inspiration is any other sociology professor of my similar group, for example, if any of my colleague become an inspiration for me. So it might be possible that a membership group become a reference group for individual. But in case of the reference group, they are mostly those group in, uh, to which individual they are outsider. So, and uh, they actually use this reference group to evaluate the, his or her condition or his or her conduct in society. And also they evaluate their own capabilities and tend to be like that member of that group. So in this case, it become a reference group. For example, those who are students in sociology, they may be, the, uh, for them, the reference group, those who wanted to be a professor in sociology, for them, there might be a reference group of the uh, any uh, group of the sociology professors, which, which act as a reference group for them. They intended to be like them. They try to uh, learn sociology in such a bad in such a better way to become sociology professors like they like them. They might it might be their you know university professors might be any professor on they have met on social media, but in case that a group. Uh, to which individual they are not a part of that, but they tend to be a, uh, to, they tend to be like that. This consider a reference group for them. Okay, so we can define reference group in different ways as it has been defined by different sociologists in their own ways. For example, definition by the Muzaffar Sharif. Muzaffar Sharif was actually a Turkish American social psychologist who also gave a theory like social judgment theory and the realist conflict theory. Social judgment and the realist conflict theory, they are the milestone uh, they actually lay milestone in the social psychology. Now, how would they define the reference group? According to, according to him, reference group is a group to which individual they relate himself as a part or to, to which he aspires to relate himself psychologically. It means that either the individual they are a part of that, uh, a part of that reference group or either they try to become a part of that group. Uh, you know, they aspire to relate themselves psychologically. For example, an individual us who is a student and who wanted to be an actor in future so he actually relate himself try, trying to relate himself psychologically with the models and actors of uh, his or her country so in this way it become a reference group for him because he wants he aspires to be like that and it is it should be a group to which individual they relate themselves psychologically it means it is not a group which is uh, individual think of uh, some uh, think of you know um, uh, some uh, a group which is beyond the limitation or which is hypothetical individual they think that i can become part of this group that's why the such group become a reference group for him for example if uh, for, for example if an individual who is who, who is from a you know lower who is from lower class and he cannot use i know a class the elite class the um as an elite class as a reference group for him because it might be that he is not able to relate himself psychologically to that but if he work hard and try to earn money as much as possible and then he can relate himself to psychologically to that group so then 
that group will act as a reference group for him okay then the another definition given by the thompson and hicker they actually they were actually studying uh, they do a lot of contribution in the mass communication uh, field they study the influence of media in the formation of the modern society they actually wrote a book the media and Modern uh, modernity and they break down the term mass communication they were the british sociologists but they also give views on the reference group we say that a group that individuals set as a standard they evaluate their individual qualities attitudes behavior circumstances and values means that individuals they evaluate or they analyze their own capabilities based on the by referring themselves to the another reference group so it might be that they evaluate their own qualities their own attitudes the behavior the circumstances the values anything which they relate or they do judgment about by relating it with a particular group is called a reference group for them okay so how can we uh, what is actually the simple meaning of the reference group it has been concluded that the meaning of reference group is a group which we use for comparison simple a reference group is a group which we use for comparison by treating them as norms or standards norms or standards actually set by the reference group for an individual and it's because that uh, we treat them as a standard for ourselves so we tend to achieve or to reach that goal so any group whose value judgment become our judgment because when we make judgment it is not a judgment which, which we made in isolation we do make judgment by relating it with another group which is the reference group so in the in case of the reference group the value judgment become our judgment and it act as a point of reference for us for example it might be a friends for example in peer group uh, if a individual who has a you know a who excel in a leadership skills or in a smart hard work so he become he or she become a point of reference for the other individuals in a same peer group also it might be a students in a class for example a head boy become a reference group for the other students in class also it might be the religious organization and it might be the models or actors it depends on the nature on nature of the individual you know, what kind of the reference group he or she relate himself and also it depends that what is actually interest of that individual what he or she wanted to be so it is actually subjective for each individual it is subjective that how he re relate or analyze their own capabilities and also the type of the reference group to which individual relate themselves is also subjective depend on the individual um, uh, nature and also their aspirations in life and their interest and goals okay so when we discuss the re uh, reference group here is a famous research regarding the reference group which was done by the stoffer and his team is a stoffer research and reference group it was actually this research was actually based on the survey and the survey study was conducted um, to understand the reference group dynamics during world war ii and their survey was actually administered to soldiers to read their own or any competent soldiers chance of promotion in their army unit so they were actually trying to find out that how individuals make judgment about their own capabilities by comparing themselves with others and how much the ref the type of the reference group either it is strong or weak how it affect the individual on evaluation about themselves it means that how it affected uh, how it affect their uh, opt optimism and also their how much they are optimistic and pessimistic about themselves when they relate themselves to the strong or weak reference group for example those soldiers who and it was concluded in the research that those soldiers who are in army unit with a low promotion rate they were actually more positive more optimistic about their chances to move ahead because the reference group to them were the other soldiers in the same army unit with a low promotion rate who were also you know lacking a lot of capabilities as compared to those who are in higher units so they they were actually re relating themselves to the weak reference group that's why they were optimistic about their success but in contrast those soldiers who are in army units with a high promotion rate when they look around they're all individuals they were getting promotions they were excelling capabilities their their promotion uh, was too fast that it actually made the individual on evaluation about their promotion rate more possible pessimistic so it, it was actually concluded that we do make judgment about ourselves relating to a specific reference group and also the specific reference group type either it is positive or negative it depends our own decision and evaluation of our own capabilities in that in that group okay so it was all about the structure research and the reference group that how the reference group the type of reference group either it's weak or strong impact our own judgment and evaluation of ourselves 
Okay, then there are many types of the reference group. They are formal, informal, membership reference group, disclaimant reference group, aspirational, avoidant, and associated reference group. Okay, first is the informal reference group. It is a reference group to which individual they belong casually without rules or structure. It is the most common form of the reference group and it is mostly based on the relationship. It is a relationship oriented reference group. It means that it doesn't have any fixed social structure or rules or regulation, any official documentation which you have to fill to become part or you know to compare uh, yourself to that particular group. But it's something uh, it's actually when individual they belong to that group casually, for example, in a peer group, individual they belongs casually, they do not fill a particular you know documents or uh, any uh, official or written documents to join a particular peer group that's why it is based on the informal relationship so peer or friends group is an informal reference group also the neighborhood social group and the students in class these are all the informal reference group which individual they compare themselves and it does not have any specific structure or uh, rules or regulations or any formal policies uh, so that's why it is considered the most common form of reference group because we uh, we actually associate with uh, such type of the reference group in our daily life. Then the second one is the formal reference group which refers to the social group to which individual they belongs that have strict rules and regulations for members. So they are mostly goal oriented group. So it, it is actually opposite to the uh, informal. In case of the formal, it will have a particular structure, rules and regulations, the, uh, the social structure, it's a official documentation is required to join that group. For example, in case of the labor unions, political parties, the workplace coolies, these all are the formal reference group. When you individual want to join a labor union, they have to pass through a particular rules and regulations which they have to follow and a particular policy and also there is eligibility criteria for that also for political parties they must have some skills and also there is a particular rules and regulation like they have been assigned a particular pol uh, uh, political symbol to which they contact the election so it will have particular rules and regulation that was considered formal reference group then in case of the membership reference group, it refers to social group to which individual they currently belong. For example, the person's current workplace or social club. And also it might be, for example, Mariam is married woman, so she must agree with the behavior of the other married women. Or also she, she must agree with the attitudes, uh, with the, if she agree with the attitudes of the uh, marriage institution, so she'll become a membership, uh, it will become membership reference group for her because she belongs to that particular group. Similarly, for example, if I take my example, I'm a sociology professor. So it is a membership reference group for me because I agree with the behavior and the rules and regulation of how should I teach the sociology. So it is actually a membership reference group for me to which an individual they currently belong is a membership reference group. Then the discriminant reference group, it refers to a social group to which individual they currently belong, but they don't agree with in regards to the attitude, social norms and behavior. It means that they are, they actually belong to a particular group, but they actually oppose the norms and values of a particular group. For example, the same example if we take that Mariam is married, but they disagree with the norms of married people. If she agree with the uh, norms of the marriage institution, for example, what is the norm of marriage institution that they expect from the married women to have a children? It is a norm. So if if uh, Mariam agree with this, so she will be it will become a membership reference group for her. But if she as she belong to that uh, group, but if she disagree with the norms like having children, maybe because of her busy care or any other reason, she disagree with the norm of this institution or of this social group. So it will become a disclaimant reference group for her. Okay. And then the aspirational reference group. Aspirational reference group are those who. Uh, to are those who people would like to be like any time a person desires to be part of any group is an aspirational reference group as its name indicate it is an aspiration that individual they tend to be like that is aspiration reference group for example the musicians the models actors athletes these all are those who are mostly uh, you know they they show their influence on the social media mostly social media influencers who actually impact our behavior and also our standards that how we set our standards actually affected by the media so it is actually the reference group the aspiration reference group actually form uh, through all through social media or the you know mass media and also it might be that in your village or uh, there is a particular uh, individual who has a high social status like they have passed a you know a particular 
um, CSS or the UPSC exam, they have cleared that. So it will become, he or she will become aspirational for you. So it will be called as aspiration reference group for you if you think uh, of, if you also think of becoming like them, okay? Then the avoidant reference group are those which individual they actively avoids to be like that or part of it. It means that it is a group which individual they try to not be a part of that. They try to avoid it. For example, these are actually the negative reference group. This is the criminals, the deviants, those, all those individuals who are mostly, you know, looked down by the society. They become avoidant reference group for the other members of the society. Okay, then the associative reference group are those in which individuals, they have equal or almost equal status. For example, the colleagues, the classmates, they have almost equal status because they do work in a similar environment. They do have same qualifications, same, they have come to the, uh, to, they have come to the status by, you know, passing through a similar eligibility criteria. So it become associative reference group for them. If they become, uh, if they relate themselves, their qualities by relating with the, uh, for example, if I relate my capability by <clears throat> my, uh, you know, the, uh, for example, if I relate that how much I teach better, so uh, by relating my lectures with the other sociology professors, so it will become associative reference group for me because I am myself uh, part of the, you know, mem uh, I am myself part of this group and also I and those other sociology professors also have equal status as they are all my colleagues. If, for example, if I compare myself my colleagues, so it will become associated reference group for me. Okay, so all types of the reference group in one example. Let's discuss all types of reference group in one example for simplicity. For example, for students' point of view, for any student, the past head of class is actually the aspirational reference group because he will tend to be like him. Also, the attitudes and beliefs of school, if he agree with this, it will become a membership reference group for him. And he join a particular field or subject. For example, when you take admission in a, in a particular field or subject, so you have to join a particular official documentation that I'm, uh, for example, which subject you want to choose, either you want to choose a medical field or, you know, the uh, social sciences. So you have to write it official in, you have to mention it in official documents. So it is actually become a formal reference group for him. Also become a part of the social group in a hostel. It's actually the peer group, which actually come under the umbrella of the informal reference group. Then the poor academic student, those students who are poor in their studies, they actually become the avoidant reference group for the other students because because these are these students are those who actually uh, become they actually seem as deviant by the teachers and by the others um, you know these it, it they actually become deviant in a school setting or the education environment because to you know to adhere to the so school setting or the education system you have to work hard and excel in the academic uh, excel in the you know studies then classmates with the unique qualities, all those who are classmates, they all have equal status, so they are associative reference group, but if any individual, they have a unique quality, although they are colleagues, well, they will compare themselves with each other for their evaluation, so they become associative reference group for them. Then lazy and dull, for example, those who are lazy and dull in studies means that they actually disagree with the norms of, uh, with the norms of, you know, um, of education institution that a student they must work hard they must uh, you know uh, regularly attend the classes they must submit the assignments so if they so if a student he actually has joined this group but disagree with the norms of studying and submitting assignments on time and also the uh, regular attendance so he will become it will become a discriminant reference group for him okay okay what is the importance of the reference group reference group actually reinforce the gender norms he actually a reference group act as a reinforcer of the gender norm because when we look around uh, in our society these are actually the uh, gender norms are actually reinforced by when we compare ourselves to the other females to the other women who actually pass through the same experience as we have passed so in this way the gender norms are being imposed in the society again and again and become rigid uh, for the next generation then it become also the person's self-identity can we uh, also it, the reference group help them to identify their identity in society by comparing them with the others and also it become a source of courage for them means that the aspiration reference group become a source of courage for example if your colleague your friend he have passed up 
the UPSC exam or CSS and become a CSP officer. So if he or she might be an aspirational group for you and he might become a source of courage. If she or he can do so I can also do this. So it, in this way, it actually, you know, act as a source of courage or also a mean of uh, struggle for the other individuals of the society. It also affects the consumer behavior because the, for consumer behavior, the reference group is the opinion leader. So they actually reinforce, they actually impose and reinforce the different consumer behaviors by giving social proofs and also setting norms and informational influence and also giving them identification aspirations. So it actually also affect the consumer behavior and also affect the marketing. When we do an advertisement, we actually uh, have the other individuals to set reference group for themselves. And this reference group in the form of the marketing actually affect the decision making of these individuals. So in this way, we can say that it is a reference group which affect our society and the individual capabilities, the decisions uh, regarding their own, uh, regarding uh, themselves. So in this way, the reference group affect our society. So this was the end of our lecture. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your questions in the comment section below. And like, share and subscribe our channel for latest lectures. Thank you.